All right, this is an interesting question because I actually received it prior to this COVID-19 pandemic. And the question is, with an upcoming recession, should I position my portfolio to take advantage? I have a long investment horizon. Now, this is a question that I was getting a lot because we basically came off a 10 year, eight, nine, eight to 10 year bull cycle or bull market where, I mean, no matter what you did, stocks were just going up and up and up. And so a lot of people were wondering, okay, should I put money in now? If I'm not just not having money to invest, some people were saying, should I take some money off the table? There's always these kind of questions around crises and, and around wonderful periods of time. The reality is, and what I tell everybody is, there's no such thing as market timing, especially not for, if you even believed in it, I would say there's no such thing as market timing for somebody like us. I mean, we're not sit, there, there are millions and millions, billions of dollars committed professionally to people that are trying to get an edge with their, uh, with their strategies for investing, for clients, for big portfolios, you know, pension funds, investment managers, corporations. So little old you and me uh, sitting by our, our, our desktop or our computer or on Robinhood trying to figure out when to get in the market, when the economy is going to change, all that kind of stuff. It's just a crazy way to think. Never be thinking, oh, let me position myself for something that I don't know is going to happen. You should be always concerned with whether or not if you're going to be retiring soon or if you need money for a specific purpose that you shouldn't be putting it at risk. Those are reasons to move money around or be more cautious or, or, or be more careful with how you invest it or don't invest it. But in terms of taking advantage of upcoming recessions and things like that, don't think about it that way. Now, if you were just now deciding, oh, I have a, a huge pile of money that I don't need for my day day to day needs and it just so happens that right now we're in a financial crisis or something like that, then sure, put the money in, make sure you have a long time horizon. I describe that by saying at least five years, but really 10 years or longer, you wanna have that money invested. And if not, then maybe pull that to the side. Like if you you happen to have to use this money for a down payment on a house tomorrow or in the next couple of months, that's not the kind of money you want to put at risk. If you need money because you're out of work, this isn't the kind of money you want to put at risk. But you can certainly decide to put more money in when the market is going down and uh, and and you don't need the money. And you can certainly, if you're close to retirement or you need the money for something and you're noticing there's jitters in the market and you're not feeling calm, you can't sleep at night, you can certainly take money out or shift that money to less risky things like bonds, treasuries, things like that. But don't worry about market timing as a general way of being. It's, it's, it's not possible for you and me.